Hey guys, Rookie Lock here back once again. I hope everyone's having a great day as always. And uh, something a tiny bit different for you guys today. I have this old Yale here that I just took out of a door whew, three, four days ago. Um, lock in the building that needed to be changed out and this had no key. It's, uh, yeah, it wasn't really working either, but uh, we just decided to switch it out. Um, Yale Night Latch and uh, made in Canada Yale Night Latch and I think this is a pretty old lock I wouldn't be surprised if this was installed shortly after the the building was built here part of the basement that's uh, really not not used at all so and I can kinda tell it's old from uh, this style of clip that's on here which actually reminds me I gotta take this off right now while the lock is in the locked position because as you can see here this clip won't won't come off in any other position than this so I'm just gonna hammer it off and uh, yeah we'll see if we can get it picked I'm hoping it puts up more of a fight than um, the normal master keyed quick sets that are in the building here so let's see what we can do Hopefully I can do it before my camera dies. It's been being kind of weird lately. So I haven't picked this before. This is the first time. And um, I have pre-selected this pick. Usually I can do pretty good with it on Yale Keyways. Um, you can tell the 5 is binding. The thing I like about this pick is if the pick doesn't slide under the pin then it's binding pretty much on this keyway. So we got a false set so there is spools in it. So I will add too that if the lock has high cut pins this pick will uh, will not get into it and uh, usually uh, if you're trying to pick like a spool and you lose your false set and you're you're not getting anything then chances are you need a, a deeper pick I think that might be the case with this one. Oh, one's binding <laughs> um, I guess that's not the case we won't need to switch picks for this one. Oh shit Hopefully, uh, hopefully my camera doesn't die though. Let's try and do this quick. So there we are picked. Um, let's see what's in here. Definitely spools, but... Honest to God, it almost felt like there was a serrated pin at first, but... Um, I kind of know better than that. There's There can't be a serrated pin in here. But it really did feel like first two uh, pins that I set were kind of crunchy. Um, let's see here. Tweezers. Let's see what we got. Oh, sweet. Oh, wow. I'm not sure if you guys can see that yet, but stand by. actually um, mushroom pins. Wow. Oh, I should have saved this for a quick pick Thursday. Look at that. Um, yeah, these are really nice uh, nice old mushroom pins and you can tell that they're old because the lathe that usually they don't leave these uh, little nubs at the end of them. So that's quite cool to see. I'm actually happy that I uh, decided to pick this on camera. And uh, yeah, nice to see balanced pin stacks too. Excuse me. Look at that. So yeah, Yale made in Canada, uh, rim cylinder. 
I'm going to sign off with that before my camera craps out and corrupts this image. Um, but, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate everyone's support, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.